So what we're using here is our software, which is Tops Ortho. I've already uploaded all the photos into the corresponding title. So we've got our intraoral photographs, our occlusal photographs, and then we have our three extra oral shots that we've taken as well. We're using this software, but you can edit these photos on PowerPoint or Keynote, or you can edit them externally on Adobe or JPEG and then import them into your PowerPoint documents. We're going to start with the portrait with the relaxed lips. For our extra oral shots, when we edit the image, we like to square it first and then we'll zoom in here. So as you can see, both ears are equally projected and we're zooming in enough that our line is running across both eyes as well. I'm just going to adjust this so that the nose is in the centre of the photograph. And then we'll save this one here. Again, going to do the same thing, square the photograph. I'm going to zoom in, adjust it so the centre of the nose is in the middle of the frame. Again, you can see both ears are equally projected here. It's important to make sure as well when you're taking the portrait profile that the patient is resting and their eyes are looking straight ahead into the distance. Wonderful. Now we're going to go into the intraoral photographs. So here you can see that the occlusal plane is parallel into the floor. What I'm going to do is just zoom into this image here center it and then it's ready to be saved. With the right and left intraoral photographs again we will zoom in. If you can get the canine in the center of the photo that would be ideal. Here we were also able to get the full first molars and part of the second molars as well which is good and again occlusal plane parallel to the floor. Once again, we're just going to zoom in here. Canine in the center of the photograph. And we've captured the first molars. Now, when you're editing your pictures, of the occlusal shots of the maxilla and the mandible, it's always important to remember that you have taken a picture of a mirror. So it's important to flip the image first so that we're looking at this photo as though we were looking in a patient's mouth. Otherwise, it's very easy to get confused between which is quadrant one and quadrant two. And here we're just editing the photo so that we don't see the actual top teeth anymore. And just centering the photograph. And again, with the lower shot, we're going to flip it first. We're just going to rotate the image a little bit. And we'll zoom in, center the image. And if possible, we will have the line running through in between the lower central incisors. Perfect. And that's how we edit our photos.